Over the years of Pokemon being a company and making games, they have trademarked and teased many games that actually have never came into fruition. Also, once I hit 9,000 subscribers, I'm going to be giving away a $10 Nintendo eShop gift card for your Switch, so make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below after you've done that so I can enter you into the giveaway. So, one of those unreleased games that I want to talk about today is Pokemon Brown. So, this was one of about like 8 or 10 titles that Pokemon actually trademarked, but they just have never shown up. I don't necessarily think that just because they trademark a name means that they're 100% planning on making that game. I think they're just kind of saving it for the future for the possibility of it maybe being a game in the future or maybe just another company or someone else can't use that name. They actually did this with Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. They trademarked the name back in 2008, but I think they trademarked Scarlet and I think it was purple, not Violet. It's funny to think that like 14 years later, we got Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, which were trademarked years and years ago. So with that being said, it's still a possibility that we can actually see a lot of these unused Pokemon names in the future. Pokemon Brown recently caught my attention though, just because I've been seeing more of it online and everything. And one of the biggest theories of Pokemon Brown is that it would have been a Gen 1 like remake or another Gen 1 based game featuring Eevee. So you know how like Pokemon Red is Charizard, Pokemon Blue is Blastoise, and uh, Pokemon Yellow is Pikachu and everything. So fans just assume that Pokemon Brown would have featured Eevee on the cover art. There's a really interesting article from 2009 that talks about these trademark names which is kind of cool because this goes back in time. It's like a time capsule back to a time where all of these names were trademarked. So it's been in talks for like years. This is nothing new. This is just something interesting to talk about. In the article, I'll leave the link to it in the description. He talks about Pokemon Black and White, talking about how that would be a cool name. And they could use like dark or light mode or something like that. And Black and White came out in 2010, which I don't know if it was announced at the time of this guy making this article in 2009. It might have just been a little bit before that. He also talks about Pokemon Crimson and Scarlet, and I think that's what it was. Crimson and not Purple, but they changed it to Scarlet and Violet or whatever. Uh, but he was talking about how he thinks that Scarlet and Violet will be Gen 5, which is kind of funny. It ended up being the ninth generation, so it was a new generation of Pokemon, just a few generations delayed. He has a fan-made picture of Pokemon Brown on the website, which features Bidoof as the cover art instead of Eevee, which is kind of funny because Bidoof has just always kind of been a meme in the Pokemon world. I personally don't think we're ever going to see Pokemon Brown, but you never know. But I have a few reasons why I think that we'll never see Pokemon Brown. So one of the reasons is because we already have a few games based off of Generation 1, and a few years ago, they released Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee, which I think would have been a great time to bring out that Pokemon Brown name for Let's Go Eevee. I don't know what they would have done with, like, you know, Pikachu. Maybe they changed it because they did Pikachu and Eevee and they couldn't reuse Pokemon Yellow because they already used that name. But yeah, Pokemon Brown would have probably been used for that Eevee game. I also don't think that the word Brown sounds very appealing for the fans. I don't think a lot of people would buy a game that's called Pokemon Brown. It's just not like a very colorful name. It's just a color that's dull, you know what I mean? Like you think of Pokemon Yellow, you think of something bright and exciting. Red and blue are nice colors. Scarlet and Violet are nice colors. So I feel like Nintendo and the Pokemon Company definitely have thought about that. And that's probably another reason why they never brought out the Pokemon Brown name. I think one of the coolest things about all these unused names is just thinking about what the plans were for the Pokemon games back in 2008. Like where did the Pokemon company want to take this franchise 15-ish years ago? What did they want to do? What names would they have used for the new generations and everything? And um, I've made a video about Pokemon Grey, which was uh, another one that they actually trademarked, which would have went with Pokemon Black and White, and I really wish we saw Grey. I don't really know if we'd ever see a Pokemon Grey. I feel like it's possible. I definitely think that is a very possible game to be released in the future, but I also have my doubts just because they've already gone to Pokemon Black and White 2. So I don't know what they would do, but let me know what you guys think about Pokemon Grey. But in today's world, we actually kind of do have Pokemon Brown because people have made their own ROM hacks for them. So basically what that means, if you don't know what a ROM hack is, it's just somebody makes their own Pokemon game and they upload it to like a third party Game Boy cartridge or they just put it on the internet. So it's not an official Nintendo or Pokemon release, but it's a game out there that you could still play and it still functions and plays like a regular Pokemon game. I've never played a ROM hack game, but I definitely want to in the future. And Pokemon Brown 
and just Pokemon ROM hacks in general have a really solid community that backs them, and there are tons of people that play them, there's a lot of ROM hacks out there, so technically if you want to play Pokemon Brown, you can, it's just not an official game, but that's okay because it's, it's still fun, you know what I mean? And I don't think that the ROM hacks are that much money, I'm sure the ones online you could just download for free, but I think the physical copies are probably like 10 to 20 dollars like they can't charge a ton because it's not like an official release it's just some fan made thing but yeah let me know what you guys think about pokemon brown or just any other unused unreleased pokemon game out there i think it's possible to see some of these unused names in the future because literally last year is when we got scarlet and violet and they trademarked that in 2008 which is crazy and there are some solid names in this list i'll make another video going in depth about maybe another unused title maybe some games that they've teased or talked about a little bit but yeah make sure to like subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video